In this lab, we will dissect a fetal pig. Since both pigs and humans are mammals, we will be studying mammalian anatomy. In this lab, we will gain knowledge about organs in mammals and how they work together. We will also compare the pig's anatomy to a human's anatomy. We will examine the respiratory, cardiovascular, digestive, urinary, and reproductive systems. We will also take a closer look at the brain. The purpose of this lab is to compare the anatomy and physiology of a pig to a human and determine the similar characteristics. We hypothesize that if a pig is a mammal, then it will have similar physiology and anatomy to a human. For our sample, we will use a fetal female pig. The materials we will use are a scalpel, scissors, pins, a probe, disposable pipettes, a dissecting pan, gloves, aprons, and goggles. The oral cavity. Insert a sturdy pair of scissors into one corner of the specimen's mouth and cut posteriorly. Repeat on the opposite side. Place your thumb on the tongue and gently push downward on the lower jaw to tear some of the tissue. Note the small teeth, the tongue, the hard and soft palates, and the uvula. Push down on the tongue until you open the jaws far enough to see the epiglottis, which covers the glottis. Also find the opening into the esophagus, the trachea, and the nasal passages. Abdominal and thoracic incisions. Starting at the diaphragm, cut anteriorly until you reach the throat region. Make two lateral cuts, one on each side of the midline incision. Pull back the flaps created by these cuts to expose the thoracic cavity. Next, cut posteriorly from the diaphragm to the umbilical cord. Make a flap containing the umbilical cord and make two cuts, one on each side of the midline incision posterior to the diaphragm. Make two more cuts, one on each side of the flap anterior to the hind limbs, and pull back the slide flaps created to expose the abdominal cavity. Neck region. Move the skin apart in the neck region and cut away the muscle to expose the thymus gland. Probe down into the deeper layers of the neck to find the hard-walled larynx, trachea, and esophagus. Thoracic cavity. Fold and pin back the chest wall flaps. Examine the four lobes of the right lung and the three lobes of the left lung and the bronchi. Locate the four chambers of the heart. Remove the heart by cutting the blood vessels that enter and exit the heart. Cut the trachea just below the larynx and lift out the entire freed portion of the respiratory system. The abdominal cavity. Note the liver, the largest abdominal organ, and its multiple lobes. Find the gallbladder, dorsal to the liver. Next, note the stomach, also dorsal to the liver on the left side, the pancreas, and the spleen, a long, flat, reddish organ attached to the stomach. The small intestine joins the stomach at the duodenum and soon clumps into a mass held together at the mesentery. It continues on into the large intestine, or the colon, which ends in the rectum. Sever the small intestine just below the duodenum and the large intestine just before the rectum and lift out the entire intestinal mass. Carefully cut away at the mesentery to stretch and lay out the intestines. Lower Abdominal Region Attempt to locate the urinary bladder, kidneys, and reproductive organs of the specimen. Cut down along the mid-ventral line and pass through muscle and the cartilaginous pelvic girdle. Find the vagina, which is dorsal to the urethra and ventral to the rectum. The entire urogenital sinus opens at the urogenital papilla. Our group was given the challenge of removing the pig's brain while keeping it intact. We were not given any procedure to follow and we had to form our own method. We decided to cut through the roof of the mouth and continue to cut around the entire skull until we were able to crack it apart. We succeeded in removing the entire brain with minimal damage. There are many similarities between the fetal pig and the human fetus. Some of these include their organ placement, the fact that they both give live birth, they both have body hair, they are both omnivores, 
They have very similar skin and they are genetically compatible. Okay. Some major differences include the average weight at birth, the average length of the small and large intestines, the setup of their reproductive systems, the genital openings, the orientation of their large intestines, and the anatomy and physiology of their feet. From this dissection, we have concluded that pigs are indeed mammals and have similar physiology and anatomy to all other mammals, including humans. There are many characteristics that are common across the class.